What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video and today we're going to be doing a Dallas Mavericks realistic rebuild before getting further in the video make sure to smash that like button let's try to get over 100 likes again and of course if you're one of those 67 percent of the people watching this video and you aren't subscribed change that right now would be greatly appreciated and let me know what you guys thought about the all-star game it was amazing I loved it uh, watching the best players in basketball go intense at each other like a playoff game was awesome. But other than that, guys, I'm excited to do the Dallas Mavericks because we all know this man, Luka Doncic, has been great this year. Chris Porzingis has been decent as well. But of course, for this first season, we're not really going to do anything. We're just going to see how this team can finish out. And then we'll make our changes in the offseason because the trade deadline's passed anyway. So we really can't do anything. Here's rotation that they've been running for uh, season number one. Now that, uh, you know, Dwight Powell is out, unfortunately, with that Achilles injury. It sucks to see that. They did get MKG in a uh, buyout deal. I don't know what kind of impact he'll make on the Mavericks. But I'm just going to go ahead and leave this rotation the exact same. And then the offseason, obviously, we'll try to, you know, get the team, uh, like, maybe like a third star or something. We'll have to see how that goes. But I'm going to go ahead and similar to the end of season number one. And let's see how this team finishes out. At the end of season number one, Giannis Antetokounmpo is the most valuable player. But as we all know, these are usually relatively the same for season number one. So we'll go ahead and leave that alone. But here's your All-NBA first team. No Luka on the All-NBA first team. All-NBA second team for him, though, with him and Trey Young. And all NBA third team, and here's your all defensive first team and all defensive second team. But we finished 47 and 35, which draws the Clippers here in the first round. So this is gonna be a tough matchup, but I think in real life that'd actually be kind of fun to watch. Let's look at the player stats real quick. That way we're on the same page there. Luca with 24 points, uh Porzingis with 21 and 10, Tim Hardaway with 15, and Seth Curry with 12 off the bench. So can we go ahead and beat these Clippers in the first round? Probably not, but uh, hopefully we can put up at least a, a bit of a decent fight as we're up 1-0 to start. So at least we won one game. Now we're down 2-1. Can we go up or 3-1? Can we be? No, nope, we let, we get, we lose in five. Okay, so that's fine. Let's get into the off season and see what we can do with this team. Cause I'm excited. If the Thunder didn't extend Danilo Gallinari, that is kind of somebody I want to go get. Uh, because we all know that uh, Mark Cuban likes his overseas players. But let's see what happens here in the Western Conference Finals, Eastern Conference Finals. We got the 76ers and the Clippers. And what are we going to get? 76ers and five? Yes, the 76ers have won the championship with Joel Embiid being the Finals MVP. Who says they have to trade somebody? They can keep Ben Simmons and Embiid and win a championship. All right, let's get into this offseason and see what we can do with this team. I'm excited. I'm excited. So... We're gonna go ahead and reject these because of course we never want to fix those. But then I don't think there's any draft pick that I should be concerned about, but we'll see if I have a decent one going into this draft. We have the 20th overall pick. Actually, I could probably get something decent with that. Rick Carlisle, I'm gonna go ahead and keep him. Of course, he's a great coach and I don't uh, imagine the Mavericks getting rid of him unless if he were to retire, I guess. But uh, I think I'll go with, let's go Oliver Gordon to be, uh, he wants to be a head coach, Never mind. I guess we could just get Trent Peterson. Okay, now we got that all taken care of. Let's go to the draft. I think we only have the 20th pick overall. We do have a second round pick, which is the first pick in the second round. So we'll go ahead and draft somebody there as well. When we look at the salaries, Dwight Powell will be coming back from injury. Uh, I don't know if I want him to be my starting center, but hopefully we can find something decent. The Lon Wright's actually not too bad. He's an 80 overall backup shooting guard. So yeah, I honestly wouldn't mind keeping him around, but we'll have to see. His salary is a little, you know, a little big. Nine mil for Dwan Wright may be a little too much, but that's all right. Let's see what we can do with this 20th overall pick. So Dante is here. That might be who I take. Tyrese Maxey, I think I just took him in yesterday's video. So I might try to go something different. Trent Warford. Uh, on Kongwu. This man becomes a beast if you send him to the G League. So I almost want to take him because him and Porzingis down low would be nasty. Honestly, I think I might do it. I think I'm going to take on Kongwu because he becomes really freaking good. All right. So we're going to go the second round and see what we can do here. We got, uh, I don't think we need another center. I'll take, I'll, I think I'll take Trenton Warford out of LSU. All right. So we're going to call that good. And that is our draft. So that was not a bad draft at all. We'll send both these guys to the G League most likely. Player options, Tim Hardaway accepts, which I imagine he would have. Will we call his Stein? Uh, I don't know what the Mavericks, whether they would resign him or not, but I probably won't be because he does ask for like 13 mil, which I'm not giving to you. I'm sorry. But we got negative $24 million in cap space. Of course, uh, Tim Hardaway's contract doesn't help. And then uh, Courtney Lee, we can, you know, renounce him. We'll probably renounce all these guys. JJ Berea, I imagine I want to bring him back potentially just because 
he's been with Dallas like uh, for a long time now I feel like so yeah I definitely wouldn't mind having him just around just to be around you know so uh honestly though and we look at the point guard situation it's good we got Jalen Brunson to back up Luka so I'm good with that the shooting guard spot we definitely have some shooting guards but I don't really s I mean Tim Hardaway can be a starter but I kind of want to upgrade there if we can Finney Smith I like I'm gonna go ahead and keep him at the starting small four spot for now I believe Maxi Kleba, not a bad power forward either, but we'll have to see what our options can be. Might move Dwight Powell there or just move Porzingis back to power forward. So we'll see what we can do. But we have negative $1 million, so obviously we really can't do a whole lot. So let's see what uh, power forwards are out here that we can afford. Nobody, Mason Plumlee. Uh, yeah, so not a whole lot that we can get out here, honestly, as far as shooting guards. So our acquisition is probably going to have to come via trade. And I'm curious, did the Thunder extend Danilo Gallinari? Because that's kind of who I wanted be honest and yes they always extend them i feel like so making 12 mil maybe like a sign and trade scenario where the mavericks want to sign gallinari we could give tim hardaway we can give them tim hardaway and like a pick maybe we can try that let's see if they would be down for that let's go to the thunder gallinari i'll give you tim hardaway and they can't take that because that'll be a little bit uh too much money and you can give me terrence ferguson i guess too i'll give you i guess i don't really have a pick to give you let's say i gave you um justin jackson i guess they can't take that salary can they uh let's see not a kung Wu. i don't really want to trade in warford i guess yeah okay they, yeah i don't think they're gonna take that all right so there's another player i kind of want and he is on the magic i want to see if they would do like a tim hardaway for evan fournier swap i feel like that'd be pretty cool let's try it let's just do something so let's go to evan fournier and i feel like they would be down for this tim hardaway for like an evan fournier swap and we'll give you like a second and we'll also give you like justin jackson or something and i feel like why does nobody have money all right let's go you can t just give me melvin frazier magic would acquire 330k more than allowed okay uh what could you give me kim birch no they're not gonna do it for that how about another second and uh let's see can i throw in something else no i can't brunson i don't want to throw in curry man i thought this would be easy to get evan fournier but it's not i don't really want to trade a first if i don't have to because that's evan fournier but wow okay so i'm having no success here getting anything right now so let's keep uh i guess i'll offer two seconds and see and i'll just give me uh yeah there's really nothing they can give me what about a minu instead nope all right all right we'll move on from that all right so what small forwards or point guards can we get fork and cork mass might be decent uh you know back up off the bench i think i'll go ahead and sign him let's go ahead and give him a contract i'll get him in a lot of videos so we'll sign Perkin cork mass and then like i said i wouldn't mind berea back just because he's been in dallas for a while although he is asking for quite a bit of money i'm not gonna lie so we're gonna go ahead and try to like give him like three mil and yeah he's not interested so i'm not giving him five mil because i feel like i'll need five million cap space eventually but uh for this first free agency i'm not really getting anything too crazy but I definitely still want to make an upgrade somewhere. Instead of just trying to get Evan Fournier, I'm going to shoot for the stars and try to get Vucevic and Evan Fournier. This might be like literally impossible, but I think both these guys would be awesome here. So I'm going to try to grab them. So I offer Tim Hardaway, DeLon Wright, Max Kaliba, a first round pick. I want to go ahead and entice this to offer a little bit more. We might have to throw in a Kung Wu to get this done just because I think he has some decent trade value. But let's see if they'll do it just for this. Okay, let's offer a Kung Wu as well. And I think... This will probably get the deal done. Let's say we just did it for that. And just like that, we got Vucevic and Evan Fournier on the team. That's going to be nice. All right. So I think that should complete our big acquisition this summer. Awesome. Awesome. All right. So we're going to go ahead and give untapped potential to Jalen Brunson. And we'll give some to, uh, let's give to Porzingis, I guess. It's just not up to an A+. Plus. And we'll also give some to, uh, let's say, Finney Smith. I want Finney Smith to get better if he can. So, I love that trade we just made. Now we got to fix the, you know, fix things up a little bit. Now Porzingis can go back to power forward where he belongs. And then when we look at this team now, Luca, Evan Fournier, Finney Smith, Chris Das Porzingis, Nikola Vucevic, Seth Curry, Jalen Brunson, Furkin Korkmaz, and Boban Marjanovic. That is a nice rotation we got going for season number two. We're at a three and a half star at balance. Can we go up anywhere? and it doesn't look like it seven seconds i guess we could you know go to that system but it's still a three and a half so i guess i'll just stay at balance i love this team i think we should be you know more can you know more in the running of a championship this time around with the uh, acquisition of evan fournier 
and Vucevic. Our, ta our offense will be awesome. Hopefully, we're able to go far in the playoffs this time around. But I'll see you guys at the end of season number two, where uh, we should be very, very good. At the end of season number two, Stephen Curry is your most valuable player. LaMelo Ball is your rookie of the year. Dennis Schroeder is your sixth man. And Kawhi Leonard is your defensive player of the year. And Chris Asporzingis is your most improved. 26 points and 11 rebounds and two blocks a game from our man, Chris Dapps. Awesome. All right, so we got Luka Doncic on the All-NBA first team this time around, which is cool to see. And then All-NBA second team. And here's your All-NBA third team. Porzingis makes it on, which is cool. All-Defensive first team and All-Defensive second team. Do we get Porzingis on here? I didn't know if he'd be on here for his two blocks a game, but no, he's not. All right, so we are the second seed in the Western Conference this time around. As we went 52 and 30, just to recap the rotation again real quick, we had Luka, Fournier, Finney Smith, Kristaps Vucevic, Seth Curry off the bench, Jalen Brunson, Dwight Powell uh, rejoined us after his Achilles injury, and Forking Cork Maz as well. So let's go look at the player stats. I'm interested to see, uh, you know, who did their thing out there. We had... 26 points from Kristaps Porzingis, 18 from Luka, and 18 from Nikola Vucevic, and 14 and a half from Evan Fournier, so not bad. You know, from as far as shooting is concerned, Evan Fournier, that's the reason I wanted to get him, because 47% from three is awesome. Vucevic, 35, not bad. Luka, 44, and then obviously 38 is not bad either. Curry, 49, uh, 37, 34, 35, 31. So yeah, we have some shooters next to Luka Doncic, which is what we needed, because he is a ball-dominant guard. So can we beat... The Utah Jazz in the first round. Let's see what happens. As we jump up 1-0 on them to start. 2-0. Can we sweep these guys? Nope. 2-1. Uh, let's not let them even it up, though. We're up 3-1. And we beat them in five games as we go on to face the Golden State Warriors, who have the MVP on their team and Stephen Curry. So I'm definitely nervous for this matchup, but hopefully we're able to beat them. Let's see what happens. They're up 1-0 to start. Up 2-0 and we are going to get bounced out probably here in the second round but at least we were able to uh i guess make some strides as far as you know getting farther in the playoffs than last year but let's see if we can looks like we'll beat them but you never know okay so we did 30 to 15 so at least we won one game there's no way we're going to come back from a 3-0 deficit right i mean i don't think that's going to happen but that would be legit really cool we'll see if that can uh happen as we do win this game as well 113 123 23, 9, and 15. Watch. 2K is going to hype me up. Get me to go to a game seven, and then Golden State is going to blow me out. This is usually what happens. So can we beat them on their home uh, or in their home court or I guess uh, home stadium is what I should be saying, but we do lose 109 to 130. So, I mean, we did kind of make a little bit of a comeback there, but unfortunately we were bounced out in the second round in six games. So I'm not sure what I want to do with this team in the offseason, but I know Evan Fournier is about to be a free agent uh chris Stapps or luca i think luca no luca is a uh he's not a free agent yet i was about to say i can't remember when he becomes a restricted free agent but the toronto raptors are able to beat the golden state warriors as Serge baka is the finals mvp interestingly enough but we have a whole nother off season so let's see what we can do i don't think we're going to be able to do a whole lot honestly this team isn't bad at all like it's just uh maybe i need to upgrade it to small four spot finney smith i you know ideally i did want to keep him there but Maybe his ceiling is just, you know, not going to get us anywhere. So we'll have to see if we can change him out. But we'll see what the draft has in store. Uh, we did trade our 2022 pick. And I think our 2021 is O to the Knicks. So, yeah, we can't really do anything in the draft. So I'll go ahead and just skip over it. But for the player options, let's see what we got. We have Luka, of course, Trenton Warford. I did send him to the G League. He became a 73. So I'll go ahead and bring him back. And then as far as qualifying offers are concerned, Justin Jackson I, I mean, they got you in that uh, whole Harrison Barnes trade, I think. And then it just really hasn't, you know, you really haven't been effective in Dallas. Uh, let's see. So Evan Forney is a free agent who I'm very interested in bringing back. But everybody else, uh, this is Justin Jackson. I was like, wait, is that Josh Jackson or Justin? Okay, so we got uh, Luca and Jalen. I'm good with that. Seth Curry is our backup shooting guard right now, which I'm also good with. The small four spots where I feel like we could improve. And the power forward in the center obviously is great. Uh, so yeah, we could definitely improve at the small forward spot. So we could maybe package Dwight Powell and Finney Smith in a trade and see what, you know, what's out there. So I think that's going to be what we're going to do. So let's see Dwight Powell and Finney Smith and see what small forwards are on the market. So Paul Millsap, let's play him at small forward. Just kidding. We're not doing that. Terrence Ross, Maxi Kluba, we could get him back from Orlando. Joe Harris. I don't know if that helps us a whole lot, but definitely would be interesting. Omari Spellman. I don't mind this Joe Harris trade. I think it could be interesting, but Finney Smith does play defense. So that's another thing I want. Why I kind of hesitant to do this. 
and I don't know if it changes our ceiling a whole like by a whole lot so maybe we'll wait a little bit so uh, we do need Evan Fournier back as we know, but of course we're not gonna be able to afford anybody too crazy out here Evan Fournier wants, wants 14 mil 15 mil. I don't think that's too uh, Crazy uh, by Elisa, you know, we could go out there and get him I don't think we're gonna be able to afford him after we give Evan Fournier his money though So I'm gonna four year deal because I want him to stick around next to Luca for his career So he is 28 right now. So basically in the prime moment of his career So let's go ahead and secure Evan Fournier who's gonna be our big free agent obviously so we're gonna grab him and then when we look at free agency now, we still are able to afford somebody decent. I wish Bialitsu was still here, but he's not. Um, what, what do we need? Okay, so if I were to trade like uh, Finney Smith, I would be losing a center. So maybe I should go out there and sign a backup center because I'm still going to try to trade Bo or Dwight Powell. So let's go Mason Plumley. He may not be too bad. What other options are there? Cousins, I think he. we don't really need him to score that much. Boucher is here as well. Kaminsky, Biombo, uh, Okafor. So I'll offer Plumlee a contract. I'll also offer Boucher a contract. And I'll also offer, uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, I would offer Cousins, but we just don't need that much scoring off the bench. We have enough scoring in our lineup. Noel, we can bring back to Dallas, you know, for, you know, uh, just uh, defense. And he's the first one to accept our offer. So why not? We'll get Nerlens as well to be our backup center now that uh, we are probably going to be trading. So we're going to skip over free agency. And then, all right, we can't sign Mason Plumlee, of course. I kind of already knew that because we did just sign Norris as well. But then we'll get uh, around to free agency and then we'll try this again and see what small forwards pop out. So hopefully something better than just Joe Harris. I kind of want a 3 and D wing, a better one, I guess I should say, because I do want to change our ceiling a little bit. I don't know if Finney Smith's holding us back, but that's the only you know thing I can think of. So let's go Finney Smith and Dwight Powell again. And we'll also offer Justin Jackson in a trade because he just came back. Eric Gordon, no thanks. I don't really, I don't think he would change a whole lot. So let's see. Alec Burks, uh, that's not bad. Uh, Terrence Ross, Valentine, Rodney Hood is interesting, but I don't. Let's see what. Let's just look for a small forward, I guess. Uh, Wig, we can't really afford anybody that crazy, but as long as 2K can stop freezing on me, we could get past this. Okay, there we go. All right, so let's see. Duncan Robinson would be interesting. He definitely would be a shooter. I don't know if uh, his defense isn't all there, but actually I do like the idea of maybe going out there and getting Duncan Robinson. Let's see if we can get him. Let's go. Uh, let's give you Dwight Powell and I'll give you Benny Smith as well for Duncan Robinson. Uh, let's see what other, just before I do this, let's see what other small forwards on my bill will land. Uh, Ubre definitely would be interesting. We get Kelly Ubre, that would be cool, but I don't think we're going to be able to, and I don't want to trade another pick. So let's uh skip past Ubre. let's try for a little bit more obi Toppin. that's gonna be no mccollum is on the celtics okay let's keep looking real quick auto porter no okay i think auto i actually like the idea of auto porter uh let's see if we can get him nope okay i feel like this would be a little bit okay so we got auto porter so i like that i like that idea so auto porter a better three and d wing than finney smith i'm good with that i'm gonna go ahead and send it to the end of season number three and hopefully we can get farther than we did last year the end of season number three Giannis honor de kumpo is the most valuable player rookie of the year goes to evan mobley dennis schroeder's your six man and ad is your defensive player on the lakers aiden's your most proved and mike bodenholzer is your coach of the year here's your nba first team no luka Doncic this time it looks like here's your all nba second no luka here either and he does make the All-NBA third team. And no Porzingis this time around. Okay, so All-Defense first team and All-Defensive second team. We went 51-31, and 31, which is good enough for the first seed in the Western Conference. So that's good to see. Let's go look at the player stats real quick and see how it looked. 23 points from Chris Stapps, 17 from Vucevic, and 17 from Luka. And then 14 for Otto Porter and 13 for Evan Fournier. So yeah, again, we had good shooters. And Otto Porter looks like he shot a little bit better than Finney Smith did. Everybody shot 35% and above in the starting five, which is awesome to see. Brunson, 37, 48 off the bench for Seth Curry. So yeah, I'm loving it. I think we have a good chance at winning the championship this time. We're going to fix rotation because 2K, I know, likes to play players more minutes in the playoffs and of course i mean our, or the starters i should say and uh that's how it is in real life too but uh we're down 1-0 to the lakers to start so not a good start okay we're down 2-0 you gotta be kidding me all right man i'm not losing to the lakers let's not do this let's not do this 2k don't be doing this to me so uh if we all right so can we beat them in the stable center twice and we do for that time let's go ahead and see if we can do it again we get to play minnesota in the second round if we're able to get past the lakers but 
we're down to one so hopefully they can even it up here on their home floor looking good thus far uh and of course we're gonna blow it okay what are, what did i just do okay i just smacked my controller okay we're down three one not in a good position but hopefully we're able to actually beat the beat them and we do squeeze it out 106 to 115 32 and 14 all right man we're going on the road in this game six we need everybody and i mean everybody trying their hearts out there we gotta leave it all on the floor can we do it and we do 128 to 111 40 and 16 from chris Tapps. what are you doing down here auto porter i need you to score more than nine points just kidding just do your th just play defense just clamp lebron that's all i asked for so can we finish the comeback here game seven if we actually lose if we actually lose this game all right 102 to 99 and we literally just forced the game seven for no reason at all okay all right well you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna run it back one more time and then hopefully this time around we we don't get bounced in the first round and we can actually bring a championship to dallas ladies and gentlemen we are in our final season we win 50 and 32 we're the third seed in the west we have to clamp up play offense and win this championship there's no way around this so let's go look at the stats real quick and see how it uh went 26 points from Porzingis, 19 from luka 16 from Vucevic, and 12 and a half from brunson 12 for Otto porter and 12 for evan fournier and this was the rotation we were running all season same starting five uh the only thing that really changes instead of freaking cork mass it's uh Sfie mikhail luke down here so here we go we got the portland trailblazers in the first round so we got bounced last year in the first round hopefully we don't do that again all right we're up 1-0 on the blazers up 2-0 can we go up 3-0 nope 2-1 can we go up 3-1 no they even it up we're down 3-2 okay i i'm i'm done with this i'm done with this 2k you've you got on my last nerve now so hopefully we can get past the blazers here and okay so looking pretty good and we are gonna go to a game seven. This one's on our home floor. So hopefully we're able to beat my poor own trailblazers here and move on to the second round. And 